Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 4v4 today. We are on Hill 400. This is a Patreon backer submitted game. This one a little bit more focused on feedback than a regular shoutcast style. We'll take a look at it here. Allies are an arranged team around rank 70. Axis uh, randoms between 4 and 500, all of them. So we'll see how it shakes out. So we've got range finder is US. Tease is... Soviets, Terrapin is Brits, and Riken Famous also is Brits. CBDs. Is OKW Clownface? Is OKW? I am not LCL as Os, and Dr. Jello also is OKW. I am quite a fan of Hill 400, you know, I have to <laughs> talk poorly about a lot of 4v4 maps, but this, this one I do like New machine gun crew ready and waiting double stems here early on we have a squad coming to support that's probably not going to be enough and no teamwork here maybe if the combat engineers came in a bit earlier start blasting away we have a maxim coming in though slightly late on the retreat with the rifleman A bit of cutoff action down the bottom. Camping it out, getting some sandbags up there. The universal carry, in fact, WCs down the bottom. Should maybe be a little bit more aggressive with this one. Go hunting for a squad. And they're just leaving it camped there. Here comes now. Sturmy's coming in from the side. Switch on focus fire. A little bit slow with the second infantry section, but overall not too bad. Deal with that pretty smoothly. Just too much firepower here for the okay, W player to really have a hope. Good control on the Kubel though, getting there out of harm's way. So far though, the Allies haven't managed to connect the fuel. Even though they have captured it up there. And a nice flank from the Grenadiers. Position behind sandbags. But probably a little bit too low to win this fight. Might be able to stall for some troops to arrive. We've got pretty early uh, mortars out on uh, both sides. For the OCP, I can understand you know, it is up against the Maxim, but back the other way, I don't think I've seen any machine guns so far. So something you kind of need to maybe adapt a bit more to the map and uh, what you're fighting against. You know, only one OS player who didn't go for a machine gun, no real buildings on this map. Might not be a top priority, maybe another squad to, you know, assist with some more capping could be better. At this particular timing, delay the mortar a touch. Use of smoke there. Allies finally capping the fuel down the bottom. Would be nice to see a sandbag maybe on this side. To keep that a little bit safer. Okay, battle groups coming up. Double forward battle groups for the Axis. In fact, triple. It's all forward battle groups at the moment. At least some strong territory control. Don't see what happened to the Maxim, but did get forced away there, which is bad news. I'm trying to use the forward reinforcement here, but this is a dangerous hold. Double Sturms could turn their attention on to the ambulance and knock it down pretty quickly. We lost an infantry unit. Uh, the Echelon died somewhere. Ambro does get away alive though, so it's it's good. Oh, no retreat on the mortar in the north. It's a donation by Lord Matisse. Oh, here comes a big push from CBDs down the bottom. Double UCs there, but there's a raquette backing this up. Activating the suppressing fire. UCs though, staying just out of range of that raquette and handling them pretty well so far. You have to, you know, be aware of the health thresholds. This one getting kind of close to where it would die to a raquette shot and a little bit more small arms follow up. 
But overall, I must do a pretty good job. Did lose control of the fuel down there at the bottom again, though. So overall, so far, very little fuel control for both sides. Potentially getting cut off, but at the moment the Allies sitting pretty with a huge amount of territory control. WC is doing a lot of work down the bottom. Axis may be a little bit slow getting the Rakitin. You no, know that uh, CBD's got one, but we need to see one from Clownface as well. Something some Fulcher Jaeger. Wow, nicely done there. Light like Gamma Bomb taking down the. 2-2-1. So the Sturmies are going to win this one, though. Oh, it's a close fight. Close fight. Nice capping in the north, but it looks like they're about to lose control of that again. We've got a big old green blob rolling up there. A lot of these troops trying to guard the cutoff area a bit more. Leaving the fuel a little bit exposed so far. Nothing's come down to cap fuel down the bottom either. So this is very, very slow. So uh, it's going to be quite heavily delayed on the vehicles at this stage. But the allies with the strong position, you know, you, you can't really like get too much more aggressive, go for too many more troops. This is maybe a time where caches would come into play in uh, most 4v4 matches. We'll see if any of the allies go for them. I say this is Cash City right now. Fuel Cash City. A little bit inactive with these riflemen. One of them could be coming in for a deep flank. There's like no action in the center, so that could very easily work. There's this barrage here. Got a reinforcement half track, so it should lead to some pretty strong control in the north. Or not LCL. Double mortars. They're going to town on these Soviet team weapons. That mortar donation really painful. Okay, it looks like Rangefinder is waiting for the A half track to arrive. Quite a late timing on this. About a minute and a half late, but we'll see how it goes. Really bad start. Seems like the cannon's slightly out of range there. Only the machine gun was firing. Little Stoomies coming in from the side, but they're getting suppressed. Oh, they do get the wipe. Ouch. Second Stem Pirate taking a little bit longer to get suppressed. Is this barrage, but it's too late. Nice capping in the north again, but... Half track keeping the Grandiers healthy. They're heading up in that direction. Yeah, you could even go down here, but no chase. Okay, there they go. A little bit late. Really need to be like point blank on them as they were crossing the river. Okay, now we've got a half track for Riken Famous camping on the cutoff again. And one of the UCs coming down to the bottom. I think this is a wise choice. Should be quite far away from the Rakesans down here. And, you know, since it's a bit more mobile than infantry, sending it to the far edge of the map does make a lot of sense. Base howitzer fire coming in on the forward battle group. Not too much though, still only the one howitzer. Oh no, two howitzers! Maybe just completed it. Looks like it's aiming a little bit short though. Most of those shells. Heavy blob charging in here. Uh, badly outgunned at the moment. Outnumbered. Here comes the reinforcements though for CBDs. T70 uh, also uh, quite late for Matisse. get the decrew on the mortar there but they're having a tough time 
busting up this position. We do have a pack alley coming in now though. Empty tank gun for rangefinder back healing. Placing the lost rifle with rangers, that's fine. In flanking the Maxim. Rough nade out. Double rough nade since dead. One of our machine guns has been Commissar out for Matisse. Quite a late one. Oh, and another team weapon donation for Matisse. Maybe trying to push the retreats on these a little bit too late. Need to know when to cut your losses. You know, once those Grenadiers hit bit two with the LMGs, it's such a big damage power spike for them. To calculate your retreats a little bit earlier to compensate for that. But allies still in a dominant position. No fuel caches so far though. A lot of uh, resources floating for rangefinder and terrapin. So I definitely suggest some caches. Especially in this situation where both players, or both teams rather, Continuously having the fuel cut off, not connected. Yeah, in, the, in these 4v4 games as well, you know, it's very hard to push like right next to your opponent's base because it's so close to their reinforcement points. And so far away from your base since the maps are so much larger, hard to sustain that kind of momentum like you can in a 1v1s. The cutoffs are a little bit uh, of punishing a 1v1 as well. Watch the retreat used there by the officer. A lot of damage onto the stern fires though. No anti tank gun for uh, Dr. Jello. Pack was back healing as well. Coming back onto the front lines. T70s. The slow giving the repairs cooking. Rebuild on the mortar for Matisse. And a bit of uh, white phosphorus coming in, not a bad idea. Okay, we're a little bit exposed though. Could be time, yeah, okay. Good idea, jump back in the half track. A little bit slow on it though. Come out and suppress these. Oh, well, it's a big old blob now. Of Falschenjäger. We do have machine gun setting up. Sap is tanking the damage, allowing the machine gun to get to work. The universal carrier should be coming through and blasting these while they're suppressed, keeping the pressure on. Here comes the other UC. The grenade forces the full retreat. So Axis do have control of the cut off. Is also briefly connecting the fuel in the north. Reinforcement half track working out quite nicely at the moment. Uh, the artillery starting to fly. A lot of bleed coming in for LCL. An anti tank gun there. That could be the end of the half track. No, it has smoke to cover that up. I was just keeping everything very low though. It's a pretty good counter overall to the half track since. It does require quite a lot more micro to put troops inside for the healing. So you know, you get them very low with the phosphorus and even though they're reinforcing, it ends up costing a lot of manpower. Sendry device out. And uh, decro on that. Getting killed off by the Zis. Oh, and there goes the flak half track as well. Good win there for the allies in the north. No retreat. Okay, there it goes. Sit in the north. Oh wow. Taking a uh, mortar shell, actually getting quite low on the T70. I was going to say, you know, with the kill on that into tank gun, maybe could continue to keep the aggression going in the north of that T70. Centaur out for Terrapin. We have some fuel caches out now for Riken Famous, so that's, that's good. Though so he is a little bit lower on uh, manpower, Terrapin, on floating more at the moment. 
But yeah, if you're gonna get a centaur, it has to be in this kind of situation. You know, you're ahead, early timing on it before your opponents really counter it effectively, so it has a chance to vet up. Do quite a lot of damage. What was an anti air unit, I suppose? Side tech walking stupid though for CVDs. Interesting, and uh, there is a very bunched up British formation here at the moment. Our face using a recon plane. This could be devastating. MG dodging. Doesn't end up getting hit though. And our OKW death blow rolling through this. Final grenade out. No dodge. They're on a very late retreat on the machine gun. Decreed. Not destroyed. Only one uh, anti tank gun here as well. But it is containing these vehicles got a rakete now in the south for clown face quite late getting that but better late than never these are forward reinforcement points for the axis though they are allowing them to keep some pretty good pressure in the north and the allies haven't managed to connect down oh boy there goes the universal carrier so the Vic is getting decrewed by a bundle grenade as well big losses down the bottom a lot of float for range finding terrapin definitely something that needs to be sold for a range finder it just you know it doesn't even have that many units Squad down there. T70 though, doing some nice work chasing away these troops. Maybe lacking a bit of uh, capping power. Maybe the combat engineers can go up there. Good use of the recon mode or secure mode. Okay, blast anyway. Take a quick look at the KDs here. Pretty good for the. Uh, Allies overall, I'd say, to this point, so I think it's looking pretty sharp for them. The axis do seem to be stabilizing. Down by 200 points. Here comes the walking Stuka, this time into the north. Maybe not the north. <laughs> or to the left, I suppose. Uh, sections out in the open against these squads in cover and the Vickers you know more like a bar profile on it so it's not super good at long range like the Breens are needs to at least come forwards into cover there where the light cover is a little bit closer on the range that's fine because they're not Breens tank out interesting choice we have tech out east ready five first for matisse and here comes the calliope going for a right onto the base area a lot of units there doesn't end up hitting too much oh but there was a lot of potential there just maybe got a little bit bad luck on the scatter I think at the moment the uh, allies in the north maybe need to coordinate a bit more like do they want to try secure the fuel a bit more or do they want to put the push onto the truck a bit more at the moment splitting their focus doesn't seem to be working out that well and meanwhile in the south the uh, double brick team getting forced all the way back here Axis have uh, been reasonably sharp with their preservation down the bottom so they haven't fallen too far behind overall because of that here comes a Jagdpanzer now bit of friendly fire from that mine unfortunate Panzer might still survive you have a second anti-tank gun coming in for Riker Famous to answer this we do have one nearby for Terrapin as well Centaur though, hanging around maybe a touch too long. 
think it'll get away alive though. Here comes the walking stook of those. Could be nasty. A lot of troops clumped up over here. An HMG crew has been lost to enemy action. Overall, I mean, it's definitely still a strong barrage, but it could have been a lot worse. But yeah, Axis do seem to have a pretty strong position now. Allies really struggling down the bottom. And, uh, you know, triple machine guns, the Terrapin, maybe a slight overinvestment. You know, the Vickers is not that strong in the first place and has left them wide open to getting blasted by this walking Stuka every time it fires. Also, uh, no bolster for either of the Brit players, right? That should be on the agenda. I can understand... Oh live barrage again but there goes the su 5 kind of getting jammed against the trees double rakins take that down and now allies starting to struggle in the north range finder can get a tank maybe we're going to go for the jackson first Honestly, uh, the Sherman with the dozer blade could also be pretty good. These team weapons getting killed off by the Axis now. Our brave infantry is dying. Did Matisse build a tank? Did I, did I miss it going down? Oh yeah, the S-35. I just completely forgot about that. Okay, so now Axis in a strong position. They just, you know, have these forward retreat points running, and it's leading to much better territory control overall. Got the crocodile out now, though, so let's see what that can do. He's rolling in unsupported at the moment. Centaur in a bit of a traffic jam that could easily go down here. Smoke the effort to hide behind double into tank guns coming through for the Jagdpanzer. This should be a good move for the Allies. Well, getting cold feet though. Uh, uh, I should have stayed in the pocket there. Backing away, just yeah. This was this could have been like the GG move. Easy deeper on the Raketen, double into tank guns pushing in. While the Jagdpanzer is uh, you know, a bit of support from the Centaur. Could have been a lot more aggressive, could have done way more damage there. Uh, a few units camping down the bottom there. Could be an idea for the Centaur just to do a solo mission. There's a Rakitten down there, but just one Rakitten, no mines. Centaur could get a lot of work done. Especially before there's like a panther or something like that to come and chase it down. Take advantage of this kind of timing. Okay, we're continuously barraging that truck, but Dr. Jelly with the double stern plow is keeping it pretty healthy, honestly. Maybe looks like we've got a really good barrage now, though, up to 21 kills. They could do with a bit more infantry though. Still floating a lot. Could honestly see him going for another Calliope next as well. Still quite a lot of fuel away from that, but given what they're fighting against, this could be quite a strong option. Another little Matisse getting out of position with his team weapons again. Could go down here. Gonna go for the KV-8 now. Missing that should allow the strip to get away. A little bit unfortunate for the allies. Up on the it's, uh, just kind of camping in the center at the moment, not really pushing in. The 
Just waiting for the crocodile to be done. Do have the bolster finally for Terrapin. And, uh, okay, double sextons also for Terrapin. This is maybe... Oh. Where some teamwork could come in for the allies a bit more. Double Yakpens is chasing down the crocodile. Does have the smoke shell. Not using it here to cover the retreat. Could go down. Engineers need to come in threatening with the Piets as well. The snares in the Piets. And there goes the crocodile. I'll take down one Yak Panzer, but yeah, definitely I think smoke probably would have put a complete halt to that. But yeah, I think what the uh, allies should probably have attempted here is to go for a siege on these trucks. Just, you know, play defensively in the middle, kind of like they're, they've been doing. And just bring the double sextons and the calliopes and just really just annihilate all of these bases in the north. And then go for the capture up there. Tank planes doing quite a lot of damage. Got the assault artillery out the back here. Vehicle crew not in a half track at the moment. Well, I seem like they're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. Smoke out. Uh, Losing a few headaches. Just about to get decrewed. A half track coming in, but it's one shot. Could go down to the Stug here. It Vehicle does. Just got it over How's that walking Stuka doing? I'm, Im I'm imagining it's got close to a million kills by now. 18. Pretty strong. Firefly now. But the f oh, traffic jam and the yeah, air just getting jammed against that trench. And now things are just going horribly wrong. And the allies actually just throwing in the tower right there. Demoralized. And uh, just calling it quits. Certainly, I think, you know, with the amount of resources they're floating, they uh, hadn't lost this one yet. Yeah, so I think uh, allies lacking in the vehicle control department uh, once the medium tanks came out. The uh, Centaur was okay, but yeah, as I said, maybe could have opened up the cap down the bottom. Seemed like they got a little bit of tunnel vision fighting through the center, which is maybe partially because triple machine guns for Terrapin, not very mobile, not very good at pushing down the bottom. And uh, yeah, only... Maybe not quite enough repairs either. But yeah, triple, triple Vickers. Uh, <laughs> don't recommend. Double Sextons as well. The Sextons just, just not that good, honestly. But, you know, you can use it to kill bases. I mean, that's probably what it's best at overall. So in these cases, I think I would like to see some coordination. Maybe go for the kill. Combo it up with Concentration Barrage. Very, very quick truck kills. That would have helped out the team a lot overall. And yeah, in the north, I think uh, split on the focus. Matisse, you know, trying to contest the fuel a lot. Rangefinder trying to barrage down the base. And just, you know, not quite enough damage to kill the base. Not quite enough units in the north to actually capture the, and connect the fuel. And that didn't really end up working out too well for the allies overall. And uh, yeah, Matisse, team weapons continuously out of position. Lost quite a few of those. Could do with some work. Rangefinder, uh, too much manpower float throughout the entire game. Should be a little bit more comfortable controlling more units than this, especially in the infantry department. But overall, you know, keep the A half track alive pretty well. Reasonable uh, build. Oops, just click on that.
allies down the bottom. It feels like they sh- just what what they had should have been more successful. But yeah, I'm not sure. As I said, the crocodile should have had more of an impact when it initially arrived. It should have been like a GG move down the bottom. Essentially, the crocodile, you know, been saving up for that. Finally, brings it in. All the tools were there, the double anti-tank guns, the centaur to keep the infantry in check. The thing with the crocodile is, you know, the flamethrower can kind of target and then leave a pool of flames for the raketon. It was pretty spaced out, but wouldn't have lasted too long. Double anti-tank guns combined with the crocs gun should have taken down the Yagpanzer there. And then after that, you know, with the crocodile uncountered by the Yagpanzer, double anti and the anti-tank guns forced away. Should have been a good opportunity to push back and get a lot of territory control going. Not quite able to do that. But yeah, overall from the Axis, seems like their four bases really working out, leading to uh, some good field presence in the late stages. Just overall better preservation from the Axis as well. I feel like they barely lost uh, any infantry uh, yeah, late vehicle, uh, light vehicle timings as well for the Allies. Maybe uh, about a minute late most, most of the time on those. If you're going to go for those light vehicles, especially in these 4v4s, where, you know, the yeah, window effectiveness is often a little bit shorter, have to be a little bit sharper on the timings. So I hope you guys found that useful. Maybe you guys are also suffering a few of these issues. And if you'd uh, like to become a Patreon backer, have your own game looked at like this. It's at the $15 tier. Details in the video description below. And yeah, catch you next time. Goodbye and good luck.